Apfel Dr. Germany. My name is Ben. Good morning and welcome to the Micro Soldering Show. And today um, I just adjusted a little bit my uh, my microscope camera. So Marco Riber, um, thanks at this point, gave me um, a configuration file he did. And um, I just adjusted a little bit now for better color. And I think we have a great, great microscopic uh, picture now. So you will see it in a minute. Um, yeah, today we start by an iPhone 7, um, which just won't start, won't boot, um, it doesn't do anything at all. And if we go to the USB amp meter, we are about 340 milliamps. Okay, for me, I already have an intention what it could be, um, but I want to have a look at the DC power supply to see the value there, and then we know what we have here. Okay. So, my intention is perhaps PP3VO NAND. Let's see if I'm right or not. So, the device wasn't open before. That's really good. Because then we know nobody tried to repair or did shit on the device. Okay. So, just get out the screws get out the battery FPC and then we can just check by using DC power supply okay let's go oh I think it's a uh, short on VDD boost because when I connect we see directly short about 800 milliamps could be backlight but Normally when we got the error at the backlight circuit, um, we see these values on boot. Per, sometimes I saw it um, without booting, uh, correspond, corresponds to the, to the shorted cap. But in this case, I think it should be a short on VDD boost. So we see in a minute, I just take out the screws. So could be a fast video in the morning, but like I said yesterday in the video, I tried to give you one video a day. Um, and so it's just, I can't, I don't know before what we have. I just can see the value at a USB amp meter and then I just start the, the video. Normally I, I didn't check anything before. Um, the USB amp meter value I checked while I was um, I was preparing my place today in the morning. So okay, let's go get out the sim tray. Get out the cables here, and then just get out the board. And we go directly under the microscope camera. Like always, I will give you the image later. Just wait for connecting to my SIG. And then, by the way, today I get my new iPhone 11 Pro. I'm really excited about that. I think two to three hours I will get it. So, and it's like I thought with the boost. Do you see that? Great. We peel off the sticker. We renew it later. So, it's no problem at all. And we have a look again. Can you see that? Just great. And you see the cap, which is shorted directly on the point. Great. So we can get it out now. I saw this cap so often on exactly that error. It's just amazing. So we go straight under the microscope. And 
now you can just check the image quality what do you think about that i think it's really great amazing so thanks to marco we don't have any mirroring it's just a great image only by doing a better setup for the camera i uh, almost wanted to, to change the camera because i thought oh it's just fucked up shit but it's not fucked up shit it's a really good camera and it uh, costs a lot of money about 600 euro so i think now we really got a good camera setup so let's take out the cap Okay, that's great. And now we should check if we are, or we can do measurement, it's K2. So we just need to see if the short has gone or not. I think should be gone. Yeah, that's great. Okay, the short has gone. So we can just set a new cap here. Okay, we have the wrong, the wrong, um, the wrong hot plate attached to the PPD 120. I turned on the iPhone X mold, not my mold I use for the iPhone 7, but no problem at all we get it out without preheat and now we get it in it's not a problem at all okay we take some flux Get the new cap in and we just solder it down. And did you see or do you see something special on that board? I see. Because the power I see, normally the underfill goes around and around. And this is a device which was never opened before. And you see we got underfill under the power I see. When you look from the side here, you can see it. But it doesn't come out to the side. So every board is different it's just crazy get it clean take a clean room wipe so when I work on these boards I want that nobody can see after that somebody worked on so I just try to use safe techniques and work very very clean okay so now we go back to the on hands nine minutes it's a fast video and i will renew the glue stick later it's just for for doing a test now i can i can do the test without putting it at the housing so no problem at all we just get on the screen, get on the front camera flex, and 
then we use the cables for the power supply and boom we are back to life again with our iPhone 7 after short on VDD boost no problem at all to fix an error like this in a fast way you see we are about nine minutes or ten minutes in the video now and I think it's a good time for doing a clean job so wait a second for the boot the boot sequence with the apple one time going down and then blowing up back again is just normal so we I think we don't have a loop or things like that so the device should be booted in a minute yes here we are and the lag is because of the power supply okay you see it works nice all the data are on the phone and um, we have we have just fixed this error in the fast way you see always when I activate the enhanced camera we got a little lag in the video I hope um, you don't take it bad things like that happen okay um, because of that I always try to prevent using the enhanced camera and mostly use the the microscope camera okay so I hope you enjoyed the video if you want to learn things like that you can easily do that do that at the board level repair school Germany if you are working at the repair industry for smartphones and tablets you can easily join our smartphone repair repair group Germany on Facebook uh, I would appreciate that um, we see us with the next video I'm out goodbye boom back to life again use Ben